let's just leave that. And if I run it, yeah, it's passing the test because, again, I'm just cheating a little bit. Um, and actually, I just remembered I wanted not necessarily... This isn't going to work because queries are asynchronous. So what I actually am going to do instead is I want it to return a promise. And when the promise finishes, I want these this to be the result. So um, the node MySQL uh, library I'm going to use is um, it uses a callback, but so I'm going to wrap it in something that returns a promise. So how about I return a promise? And I don't think the version of Node I'm using has promises, but we'll find out. So I'm going to resolve it to this. And then in here, uh, I need a done function. So I'm going to say then. And then I get back a result. So I'm going to check for these things and then call done. Like that. Uh, that. So does that pass still, or do I need a promise library? OK, that works. So that's cool. The version, I wasn't sure uh, if promises have been added to Node, but they are there. So that's great. So I think that works. Let's, uh, let's change this to a 6 just to make sure. As a sanity check. Does that fail now? Yeah, it fails. Uh, it doesn't fail nicely because it's using promises, so it just times out. It doesn't say 5 doesn't equal 6. It just, like, times out. So I think I want to use chai as promised, I've heard of. Chai as promised. Um, I'll install that. And... Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, I'll just install it as is. npm install chai as promised. Save. I have to look up how to actually use it. I'm sure this is pretty simple. I know that you do <clears throat> should eventually equal. So, um, Let's see, expect, and then a promise to eventually. So that's how I'll do it. Uh, so I guess I just, instead of expect to chai, I'll do expect chai as promised. I think that's how it works. So then I should be able to do expect database query blah, blah, blah to eventually equal. Um, yeah, it's fine. And then I'll pass in what I want to equal, which is value 5. So let's do that instead, and then I don't need the done. Uh, does that work? Nope, expect is not a function. So chai as promised doesn't work the way I thought it did. So let's. Uh, mm, It's not really telling me how to use it. it. Just extends chai, but doesn't tell me how to pull it in. So, uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so I pull in chai. Chai is promised. Chai dot use chai is promised. Okay, that's what I need to do. And then I should. So the the expect should still be chai dot expect is my guess. I should be able to just do chai don't expect, but we'll find out. So if I run the test again, yeah, cool, that works. And if I change five to six, is it gonna fail? No, it doesn't fail. So something's not quite working right. So why doesn't that work? Oh, because yeah, it's the frustrating thing here. So eventually, it's probably. I don't know. I'm not sure why it's not working. I'm not going to guess. Um, so, it just doesn't really tell me what else I need to do. Maybe I need to do chai as promised. Dot expect. 
going to be. No, that's not it. So what else? Maybe I need to pull expectant after I call that. All right. So if that's six, is it a break? No, it doesn't. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Should expect, expect blah. Yeah, expect promise to eventually have property. Um, to eventually deep equal. Let's try that, I don't know. No, it's still passing. Um, that's pretty frustrating. So, I mean, I could do it the other way I was doing it, but I kind of want to use this library, and I think it should work. Why are they returning? Do I have to return? Is that the problem? So, return expect. Yeah, okay, that's, that's it. So, if I change that back to five. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, I'm not used to doing that, but that's fine. All right, so that's pretty much working. So I just need to now pull in, um, well, I think I'll pause here, and then uh, in the next video, I'll actually get this test to pass and pull in node MySQL 2 and uh, get all that working. So thanks for watching.